Good day everyone, so in today's 3.8 livestream they've announced that Kokomi is getting her rerun so that's going to be really really awesome and I thought well in preparation for Kokomi's rerun let's talk about some of the different play styles you have of Kokomi now I'm not going to cover Nilo Bloom teams because we've covered those quite a lot on the channel and how you should use Kokomi in those teams but let's look at a more traditional way of using Kokomi so the first one you can see here, the first playstyle, is a hyper carry Kokomi. I'm only really including this for a theoretical sake. This is not something that most people would really practically want to do, but hopefully you guys can see more or less what the numbers are. You can get about 30k autos and so on with Kokomi. Um, it's really a very, very niche playstyle if you have Constellation 6, but otherwise it's not something to really worry about. But I'm just putting it out there for interest sake in case anyone's wondering. Now the second playstyle with Kokomi involves using her as a support in the more traditional sense. So basically you put down the jellyfish, you want to time your jellyfish refreshes, and you basically equip Kokomi with the tenacity set and with the... Um, thrilling tails to buff your main DPS. So this playstyle with Kokomi is all about just being a pure support. You enable the character that's going to do the actual damage and she is just there for the occasional healing and of course very importantly the Hydra application for instance like an Ayaka Freeze teams. This is I think the more traditional playstyle that a lot of people associate Kokomi with and um, it's a perfectly legitimate way of playing the character but for me personally it's just kind of it's not as much fun and that's just a personal preference from my side and this leads me to the third way of playing Kokomi and that is using her for everything that she has in her kit in other words you use all the aspects that makes her kind of cool so you use the Hydra application to drive reactions you use a large HP pool to tank um, hits from the enemies you use her range to auto attack enemies uh, like the Thunder Manifestation and just auto track them uh, you use Kokomi um, to alternate between the jellyfish doing hydro application or Kokomi being on field so this is where you kind of basically use everything that Kokomi has to offer and I think nothing demonstrates it better than this final floor of the spiral abyss so notice what we're going to do we're going to position the jellyfish which is a central place for our team to anchor and play around we're now going to use Yamiko's movement abilities to do a almost ring around the rosy but we're still playing in the field of our jellyfish so our other the characters can also get some incidental healing and then of course we use Kokomi here on field to tank all the damage as we should and while still applying Hydra so Yamiko can trigger hyper blooms we reset the jellyfish in the new location and that is pretty much what makes Kokomi so much fun this more dynamic way of playing her and this is what I really wanted to show you so this is not just Kokomi fulfilling one role from a meta perspective but Kokomi playing like our, how I envisage someone to play Genshin Impact dynamically responding to what the enemies are doing to where the enemies are and then having this character be almost the stabilizer of the team whilst providing a ton of different utilities that is what I think makes Kokomi so much fun and honestly what I think is the most fun way to play the character but yeah guys that's been it for this video thank you so much for watching and let me know whether you've got Kokomi or are planning to get her